We only have a couple more steps here before we actually run our analysis. And this next step is something called smoothing. It's a type of spatial interpolation where we take the average of all the surrounding voxels and then use that to determine a new value for the center of the voxel. Now, to show you this, let's only open up the smooth data set in this lower panel right here. So R1 blur. And notice the first thing obviously is that it's blurrier. It's a little bit grainier, it's a little bit lower resolution. That's because we've averaged a bunch of signal around this surrounding voxel, for example, this one that I have right here. And it looks pretty similar now to the rest of these voxels around here as well. You'll also know that this signal time course is slightly less noisy than it is up here. The idea behind this is that with spatial smoothing, if we take an average of surrounding voxels, any actual signal should be amplified and any noise should be averaged out. That's the whole idea behind smoothing. Now the default mapping is to apply a smoothing kernel or that's, you know, an average space of about four millimeters. You can increase that if you want, you can decrease it. The benefits of increasing spatial smoothing is that you're going to presumably or theoretically, reduce more noise and increase more signal. But at the other end of the spectrum, you could also be averaging in voxels which really have nothing to do with the signal of interest. This is particularly important with subcortical structures and also with parts near the edge of the brain. Okay, so let's take a quick look at what this looks like in our script. That was not the right one. Here we go. It's a program called 3D Merge. This is it. One blur underscore full with half max 4.0. That's in millimeters. And do all refers to doing this operation to all the sub bricks in your data set. It's a really simple command. That's all there is to the blur part of the processing stream.